So I set these mole traps this morning and one's already sprung. Let's see what we got. Look at that. We got our first mole. That is so awesome. <laughs> They've been tearing up our yard like crazy lately. Got the first one. I got four more traps out. I can't wait to see what happens when we get those going. All right, these heavy duty mole traps come with a couple of brackets to set it. What you wanna do, let me get a little closer, show you, is you wanna have, this is the trip, me trip mechanism. And this little plate here, this hooks onto here. So in order to do that, you have to put that in like that. And then this other arm in this way. And it takes quite a bit of effort. Pull that down like that. And then there's also a safety. Oh, come on. It's gonna be difficult. There's a safety. I don't know if you can see it. See the little safety arm right there? It latches on, but you don't want to just push down on this. You want to use these arms because you'll bend this. So now what we're going to do is bring this down until it hooks right there. You see that? All right. Now, I want to remove those. And that's what it looks like all set. So now, we're going to go back down to this hole. And I know that that mole is going across right here. So what I want to do is push this down in until this plate rests on this dirt that I packed in there. Okay. Now I know that when he pushes that dirt up, he's going to trip that. So now that we're set, I'll pull this back and I want to put a, bit, a little bit of loose dirt around just to block off any light and make sure it's nice and loose. This trap is so powerful, it will not, uh, <laughs> it will not, the dirt won't stop it from setting off, but this way he doesn't see any daylight. If he wants to come back through, he'll push that dirt up and this will lock him in. So we'll keep an eye on this and see if we get this guy. So we just got home and I see that my mole trap is sprung. We're gonna see if we got one. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We got one. What is that, Cooper? What is that? Did we get a mole? Huh? We got a mole. Yeah. Stop tearing my yard up. <laughs> See him? Oh, my. So we're going to check another mole trap that's sprung. Cross your fingers. Oh, look at that. Heck yeah. Mole traps are paying off. Body count is stacking up. Look at that guy. So I've been using this trap for a couple weeks now and I've learned a few things. First is, if they stop using a run that you've got it set on, don't be afraid to move it to a new, fresher looking run. And secondly, the way you set it is really important. I'm gonna show you what I've learned in the last couple weeks about how to set this trap. All right, the first thing you wanna do is find a, find a nice straight spot. Like right here, really looks good. So I'm gonna dig down and find the hole on this side and the hole on this side. Oh, he's not very far down. 
I can feel it. And it's super muddy right now. We had a lot of rain here lately. All right, I'm gonna peel this back. Oh yeah, you can see the hole there. And you see this hole here. I'm gonna bring this in closer. See this hole there. see the hole on that side. So what we want to do is we're going to fill this back in to the top of the hole and gently pack it down. So get this mud. Now I have to dig it out a little bit bigger because I want this to go over that part of the hole. So I'm going to dig out just a little bit right here for the trigger. So I don't want to set the trigger off. Pack this back down in. Level with the top of the hole. Top of the hole is right there. I think you can see it. So I'm just gonna pack in to right there. Okay, I know the hole's right here. So I'm gonna put the trap down in until we're almost touching right there. So I hope you can see that we're really close right there. So when he pushes up on that trip lever, that's going to get him. Well, we got another mole trap set off. So we're going to see what we got in this one. I'm telling you what, these scissor type traps are working the best. And another mole. Okay, little pro tip. You don't want to run over these with the lawnmower, so I painted mine neon and I put a little flag in so I can remember where they're at. Let's see what we got. And sure enough, got a mole. Oh, we just got him. I'll have to dispatch him. So I didn't realize I had so many moles. I mean, just a little bit of activity and I think I've caught six moles so far in the yard with these scissor traps. And we've got another one making a mound right here. We're gonna set a trap so we can get him. All right, here's what it looks like when a mole is just begging you to come and get him. So I got another trap that's set off right here. We're gonna see if we got another mole. Oh, sure did. Sure did, got another mole right there. Boy, they got some vicious claws, don't they? Look at those claws. Well, I've knocked the moles down in the yard considerably. The scissor traps like this are the best. I found that out. And I'll tell you what, if you like this video, hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching.